सो दि एक्सेपन दैट वी हेव डिस्कस्ड टिल नाउ आर बिल्ट इन एक्सेपन बिल्ट इन एक्सेपन दैट मीनस दिज एक्सेपन आर अलरेडी डिफाइंड बै दि जाभा पीपुल सपोज यू कैन कन्सिडर अल दि एक्सेपन दैट वी हेव डिस्कस्ड लाइक एरिथमेटिक एक्सेपन सपोज यू कैन कन्सिडर अल्सो नल पॉइंटर एक्सेपन यू कैन अल्सो कन्सिडर फाइल नट फाउंड एक्सेपन अल्सो यू कैन कन्सिडर एरे इंडेक्स आउट अफ बाउंड एक्सेपन so all the exceptions and the list is very long so all the exceptions that we have discussed till now like arithmetic exception null pointer exception file not found exception array index out of bounds exception similarly input mismatch exception these exceptions are already defined by the java people now suppose we want to use some exception for this scenario like this suppose you are writing a program to input ages of students input ages of of students now if you enter suppose minus 3 then some exception exception should be thrown because the age value cannot be negative similarly suppose you are writing a program that is going to accept the mark of some students and assume the full mark is 100 now if someone enters 120 then the program should throw an exception so for that like here you can consider negative age exception here mark out of so here write it capital out of bound exception so here you can write this one capital also so for simplicity or if we want to generalize we can write it capital similarly here make this n capital negative this one also capital this e is also capital for general to maintain the generality we are writing okay so for negative edges so we want negative edge exception for marks greater than 100 we want mark out of bound exception but these negative edge exception mark out of bound exception these are not defined in java but java provide some features using that we can write such type of exceptions by our own so we can define negative as exception and whenever the user enters negative values we can throw this exception similarly we can write marks out of mark out of bound exception and using or whenever it is required we can throw the mark out of bound exception so how to write this negative edge exception and mark out of bound exception so here you can observe all the exceptions here are sub classes of the exception class or we can say all the exception classes are sub classes of the exception class or in particular if you consider these are uh these arithmetic exception and null pointer exception and this one also array index out of bound exception these three are the are the sub classes of run time exception so here we can 
so here you can consider negative we can write or we can define a class negative edge exception mark out of bound exception and we can make these classes edge subclasses of the exception class so for that we can write we can write here suppose negative edge exception so we can write class negative edge exception so this negative edge exception is nothing but a class which is a subclass of exception so extends exception and here in the body we can write a constructor that is going to accept a string message negative edge exception so it is string s that means it receives the string or string message or it receives one message in the in the string format that describes the exception and here we can just pass this string to its super class so we can write super s and here also you can take some other members if required and then close the body similarly here we can write class mark out of bound exception and here it extends so extends is small e so extends exception and here either you can use the constructor if you want to pass the string in message or you can simply close this one and you can use now throw new mark out of bound exception and if required you can write some or you can take some members here in the mark out of bound exception and if not required you can also skip that one and the constructor is also optional if you want you can write the constructor here like this we can write the constructor mark out of bound exception suppose string message and here just pass this message to its constructor class okay so here in this way we can if we want we can define the constructor and if you do not want you can also skip this one it is optional the constructor but in this way class marks out of bounds exception extends exception in this way we can create one subclass mark out of bound exception of the exception class and whenever there is a requirement we can throw one object of mark out of bound exception similarly here also we are creating or we are defining the negative edge exception class and whenever there is a requirement we can create one edge of we can create one object of negative edge exception and throw that one so now we'll see the implementation of it so that it will be more clear so now we'll see how we can write our own exception that is negative edge exception or we can say one customized exception that is negative edge exception so for that we can write a class negative negative edge exception extends exception now here we can use a constructor that is negative edge exception
string support message then we can pass this message to its super class that is super we can write message or msg insert ok so now we have defined negative edge exception in this way that is a subclass of the exception class so now let us write our main class where we are going to take input from the user so class test then public static void main then string args then you can write here scanner ip equal to new scanner system dot in for taking input from the user now we can write a system dot out dot print ln statement system dot out dot print ln suppose enter your age enter your age ok so now here we can write int age equal to ip dot next int ok then suppose you want to if the user enters negative number so if n less than 0 we can throw thro thr throw new negative edge exception and suppose here we are passing the message like negative negative value is not allowed suppose we can pass this message then let us check how this works so before that import this scanner class import java dot util dot scanner ok so now we will see ok then you write java c test dot java java if n less than 0 ok so here if age so this is simple mistake if age less than 0 ok ok so here you can observe error unreported exception negative edge exception must be caught or declared to be thrown so here you can observe this negative edge exception is a subclass of exception so here you can see negative edge exception is a checked exception so for that we need to write the try and catch block otherwise we need to propagate the exception using the throws keyword but neither we are propagating the exception nor we are using try catch block so that's why the compiler is saying that i am not going to compile unless and until you write throws or you write try catch so for simplicity let us write throws here throws negative edge exception okay so now let us see how it works successfully compiled then java test so enter edge suppose i am writing 89 so it is no. ok so here i can write a statement print your edge control c so here we can write suppose you have and dot plus edge okay 
so it is going to display the edge if you are entering positive value for edge otherwise if you are entering negative value then it is going to throw the negative edge exception and once the exception is thrown the re the next line is not going to be executed so now let us see how it works so compile now we can write java test enter the edge suppose 67 you have entered 67 now suppose enter the edge suppose you have entered 10 okay it is showing you have entered 10 now let us see a negative value for this suppose minus 5 so it is showing exception in thread main negative edge exception negative value is not allowed so here you can observe the message negative value is not allowed that we are passing that is displayed here and this is the complete implementation now here if we write this as a subclass of runtime exception then let us see how this work so class negative edge exception extends runtime exception so let us see successfully compiled then java test enter a range suppose 56 you have entered 56 then enter a range suppose minus 4 so it is saying negative edge now edge this negative edge exception is a subclass of runtime exception then we know that runtime exception and its subclasses are unchecked exception so it is not required to write compulsorily this throws we can remove now let us check how this work okay so it is working and today is 45 you have entered 45 then okay successfully compiled once again so enter your edge suppose we have entered minus 5 so it is throwing the exception so here you can observe we have implemented the negative edge exception suppose now we want to implement suppose marks out of bound exception so marks out of bounds exception Mar class mark out of bound exception so here in place of this one we can write marks out of bounds exception so for message so so enter your mark you can just update this one enter your mark so int mark so here you can write if mark less than 0 or we can say if mark greater than 100 or mark greater than 100 that means the full mark is 100 so we need to enter a mark that is between 0 to 100 so throw new your mark out of bound exception mark out of bounds exception marks out of bounds exception here you can write exception here also you can write exception here also you can write exception okay suppose here we can write invalid range okay you have entered here this is mark we can write so now let us see how this program works so 
just compile this one successfully compiled java test entered mark suppose 45 you have entered 45 then once again execute suppose you have entered 100 so it is saying you have entered 100 now if we enter 100 egg so it is showing the exception that and the message is invalid range now here we can also remove this part this message this is optional if we don't want we can remove this so like this one here this message is not going to take okay so only if we do not pass the message then we can remove the constructor here also so now let us check how it works compiled okay enter remark suppose 45 you have entered 45 enter remark suppose 108 so it is showing exception in thread main like this but invalid range previously it was displaying now invalid range is not going to be displayed here because we have removed the or we are not passing the string message now enter a negative mark suppose minus 2 so it is throwing the exception like this so here we have defined one class marks out of bounds exception that is a subclass of runtime exception so we are not writing the try and catch block for this and we are also not delegating the exception otherwise if you write your extension exception class extends exception then it is compulsorily to write the try either try try catch block or to use the throws keyword so you can also write try and catch block to catch the exception or to manage the exception that is generated so i hope this is clear to everyone in this way we can create any user defined exception